first half's are gone. Roth Iris still the leader. Here comes the blood now. Alligator blood on the outside. Stormed up and took over. Alligator blood's in front. Flashing late. Private eye. But Alligator blood won the straight back for Private Eye. Third Roth Fire. Five. How are you, Paddy? He's big heart pumping. <laughs> 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 it was a good call in the end now I've listened to it but god we had a lot of fun on Saturday Stradbroke day we uh we did that for anyone that was that hasn't heard anything from us or seen anything else from us the last couple of weeks we were doing the punt club on Stradbroke day and it was absolutely fantastic heaps to get through firstly BJ how are you going mate you're fuming <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, I'm going well. I'm going well. I just um, it was just a, uh, wasn't one of the better one of the better rides of the day at uh at at Wild. We just, I, um, we just, I was on. We were on. Numbers only. We we're on. Just wasn't a great ride, but that's okay. Bring the energy. Okay. Yeah. Bring the heat. You, you cop those. Come sometimes. on. You, you cop those. Yeah, we're all. We're all. You do. Well, like, a, I tip the wrong horses sometimes. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna put in a poor one. Should, Pat, pretend to smack him out of it. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 <Shuffle. laughs> Paddy, how were you going? Big weekend up here. Big the FIFO came up to the Gold Coast. You hit Broadie hard on Friday night. Not too hard. Decided to walk home, which is about an eight k walk, and then uh, rolled in, and you became the the MVP, right? BJ was the MVP. He definitely was. No doubt oh, about that. Thanks, Matty. boys. Found a few nice winners, and it helped us uh, get something back on the day. Mate, I just had to trek home because I needed to clear my head for a big following day. It was, uh, yeah, it made it's a weird experience coming into a bank of $100,000. I don't think I've ever had that on a Saturday, and maybe we'll never have it in the future, but what a day, what an experience, what a great lot of fun to turn up in the morning at uh, at the studio, which is what you got to call it now. It's the the brand new studio yeah. that was look good, fully stocked with beers, with lollies, with coffee. There's that many. You had about 50, fifteen coffees. Fifty coffees with clean bathrooms. With I don't know the mics all set up, the TVs. It was pretty unbelievable. The whole um, the whole spectacle and just being involved in it was super. Um, I don't know, mate. I just can't thank you guys enough for having me on board and for what was a oh, huge mate. day. No, and that, that was, I mean, you guys mentioned something on Monday about that, and that was my that was my part of the gig. I needed to make sure it was, it was seamless for you guys to roll in there, find some winners for us. Uh, BJ, very disciplined with the punting, uh, kept our bank and our stakes uh, where they needed to be. Paddy, you found the winners for us. We were very unlucky. We had a big run of places. We had a lot of fourths as well, just outside the placings. And um, we were unlucky in, which was the quaddy we were unlucky in the most. So we, we got the Melbourne quaddy. I think it was the Sydney one we were unlucky. Yeah, the Sydney Melbourne quaddy, we, we missed were one leg. super lucky in. Blakey threw in one from left field. I threw in one from left field. And uh, <clears throat> yep. somehow we ended up landing. They were the lucky ones, absolutely. So we uh, we were okay there in the end. We ended up getting the quaddy. We ended up backing... Uh, She's a belter in the JJ Atkins. So we, we backed the winners in the two group ones, which is pretty cool, which I didn't realise until later. Between She's a Belter and um, Alligator Blood and the Stratty felt like two hours to me. Yeah, it did feel like a long it time. It was weird. Probably, mate, we had a lot um, of $50,000 collect bets just miss. Yeah. Run thirds. Yeah, and absolutely. Fours. And probably the one I remember the most, probably Night of Power because we yeah. took the massive overs. We had the $6 about it. I think it started like $3.80 or something. Blake? Yeah, that was a good bet. That was a good bet. We can take that bet every day of the week. But, um, but was, like the, the overs gods, we pray to them. Oh, the overs gods. I think Le Vizier was the the, uh, the best yeah, bet of I the agree. day. Like, you'd have that bet yeah. every day of the week. I think we took 13 or $14. <laughs> and he starts about 650 and he went okay. Yeah. He didn't have the best of luck, but he wouldn't have won. The win of <clears throat> Wah- Wahaha Falls, he went like a jet. Oh, can you believe that? That's would it, would it have made um, plenty of beer sacrifices to the overs gods throughout the day? Yeah, he did. Was, um, Just deleting it. Zero a... alcohol beer. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't actually – so we weren't sure with uh, – so we kept saying zero alcohol beer, zero percent alcohol beer on the 
on the live because we weren't sure like legalities and stuff like that around us drinking and punting. We got no idea. In fact, we did get kicked off Facebook. Um, Facebook shut us down because. Uh, Pat, you and I were actually singing this. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It's a like to see you wiggle, wiggle. Sure. We were a bit fired up then, weren't we? Uh, we were. <laughs> we come off the back of Ignition into that. Um, and my wife, Elise, who seemed to have watched all of the live streams, she doesn't listen to any potties, any content, anything like that. She had two kids at home sick and just had the live stream up. A lot of kids thought Daddy was home. And... Uh, she said that we were still on. We thought we were off. And BJ came, Blake came back in, I think maybe from getting the beers or something like that or whatever. And like you and I, apparently you and I, Pat, had like real sheepish look on our faces going, we've just been kicked off. <laughs> we were singing. We were singing. We were singing. So it was, um, uh, it was, it was very, very good. So we did get kicked off Facebook. Uh, a couple of things that stood out to me, which, which were very, very funny on the live stream. Uh, I absolutely loved it when we called Miracle Mal Johnson off Pat's phone and it rang out and then we called it straight off, straight away after, off Blake's. And um, I can't remember if it was you, Blake, or Pat goes, oh, you mustn't have my number. He goes, no, no, I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> and then he champed me. <laughs> I, yeah, and then he champed you, which a lot of people in the comments loved that he ignored your call and then champed you. I think he had, I, I don't think he had your number, Pat. He wouldn't have done that to you. He wouldn't have done He that, is an icy. He's done that. No way. He is. Oh, well, I gave him a punting like lesson that. by tipping him alligator blood. You did? Barrier 21. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. What did he say? You don't take alleys into form. I said, don't worry about the alleys, mate. Queensland Derby, Barrier 17. What was the Oaks was 22 or 23. The Stratties, 21. Yeah, no. Mate. We'll be doing form on outside barriers next year for the uh, Brisbane Carnival. It's crazy. Our... Um, well, I, I took Ow. one from Barrier 20 in the uh, the Gay Waterhouse Classic this weekend. Well, big classic she's, oh, yeah, we've got a couple. Gay Waterhouse Classic this weekend, and she trained, what was it, a 150th Group 1 winner, was it? She did, and 150th I've Group 1 winner. That was so cool. I contacted someone from the stable um, immediately after the race, and I got them to send me one glass. Wow, I can't believe they sent it to one you. One glass of alligator blood. I thought it was a pint. That's only about a schooner left. You've been putting it into your blood all week. Mate, the, the vial that the vet sent me that time, I had that injected straight into my veins. I have alligator blood now pumping through me. How do you is, feel? Uh, oh, Where's the you know, tail I feel growing a bit on the front? Sorry? Where's the tail? <laughs> I heard there's a... Aaron said there's a tail growing out the front, what? a little scaly thing. Another egg. I just... Just get an egg. I'll tell you, I was very uncomfortable after Alligator Blood saluted and I had to go to dinner with the socks on my hands. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people liked that. Oh, I forgot that. That was good. It was tough. Uh, we did. We had a good night. We had, we ate well. We had the pizza guy called about thirteen times during the group one. Of course, he, he obviously wasn't watching. Right as that happened, wasn't watching. Uh, we kind of hung around here, uh, just to give you a bit of behind the scenes and a bit of a recap. We kind of hung around here, had a couple of beers. BJ had to kind of finish off a bit of work uh, for members only for the next day. I think it was and. Recap the day, uh, a couple of beers, a bit of whiskey, we had a bottle of champagne, that got deleted pretty quick, and then um, we, hit the, we hit the Japanese. What do you think of the food, BJ? Yeah, it, was, it was pretty good, pretty good. There's a lot of it. I walked, I walked straight in there and knocked over a bottle of sake that we just ordered, 7. which 5 was good. 7.5 out of 10, I'd give it. I sat there with wet pants the entire dinner. Did you? Did oh, you? Yeah, because and you, then, spilled, you spilled it all over the floor and smashed the glass. Hey, um... We didn't tell, I didn't tell you this, BJ. We went to a bit of a hipster bar after Did you? cocktails and drinking cocktails, like forty dollars a pop cocktail. And there was a big bunch of hipsters next to us who were like drinking whatever. And they walked off. We didn't know, but I think they went to have a cigarette. And uh, I go, Pat, they've just left all their drinks. <laughs> yes. so Pat walks over and <laughs> starts drinking one of their drinks. And the lady that owned the joint went off her head. You gotta pay for those. You I didn't drink them. I didn't drink it. I saw your lips touch them. I saw your lips touch the tree. I'm wearing Pat's sitting there with his feet up on the chair going, I didn't I didn't, I didn't drink it. I'm wearing, I didn't drink, I'm not paying for that. You'd believe me, I'm wearing alligator socks on my hands. <laughs> What did you go for? What was it? It was like a lemon. It was like a lemoncello margarita or something. It was They were having something weird. 
Ours were horrible. That place has the fucking worst cocktails. Then we went to like a club, which we definitely shouldn't have been no. in. And then I think I had a, 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 a two puffs on some, some vape. And I reckon my eyes would have been spinning in my head like I was a cartoon character, and I just went. Home. I reckon you tried to do a day's worth of vape smoking in five minutes. I just, I didn't. I think I had two two puffs of a vape. I don't know what happened. So it was a big night. It was a big day. We had the uh, the absolute most fun, um, and then obviously alligator blood, man, Kayan. Uh, Visionari was the other winner that we uh, we liked that um, Andrew Porter from Punt Hub got us onto. Uh, he's a champion, so that was really good. Um, and the other thing is something else happened this week, which is quite exciting. Take just a furlong to go in the King Stand, and as they do so, Nature Stripe leading to Acklam Express in second place. Twilight Calls coming home in third position, but it is the great Australian sprinter, Nature Stripe and James McDonald, and look how far they've won by. Fucking disrespectful, isn't it, Nature Stripe? Mate, we definitely flirted with the idea of putting the pot on Nature Stripe. Gun Nature Stripe. Yeah, oh, yeah. What a horse. Nature Stripe. It was fantastic. The, the, up against some of the world's... Uh, they came from all over the, the, the globe to take on Nature Stripe, and he just uh, absolutely pants them. First up over a 1,000 James metres. McDonald. Joe Pryor to be sp- so good. spewing that he didn't send Eduardo over. Usually he uh, knocks <laughs> off the short Nature. price Nature Stripe. First up over a thousand meters. That's usually his go-to. Yep, yeah, that was grand final day. That was that different, was, good. That was gravy. Good. It was good. It's a proper horse. Like I was, I was, I was um, reading about how it had only lost. Like actually, it put on weight on the way over. Like Chris Waller and that did such a good job with it. They said that it, oh. it actually put on weight over the flight. Like it's a fifty-hour transit. I've done that on a few for the horse. Plane, few plane meals, a bit of good plane food in the business class. Oh, yeah, it's heaps of good plane food. That's just Jack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's it, yeah. So they they put on weight. Um, they kept uh, one of them stirs it up. Uh, who's the other horse that's over there with Home Affairs? And is it Artorius? Um, Artorius. Artorius? Yeah, apparently, Artorius stirs it up. So they've kept them separate, and then they got. They were able to get Nature Strip out on the track to fill the track. They were able to get Nature Strip through the parade ring to get used to the parade ring. So it's just, it's A1 uh, lead up to this as well. Just, you can't get any better preparation, which does, is absolutely fantastic. So Does Artorius st- stir up Nature Strike or does Nature Strike stir up Artorius? Because I figured that Nature Strip would be saying to Artorius, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? They might say, "Hey, look who's on this flight." <laughs> oh, he's got on the wrong flight. Why? I actually think. Why? That, I actually Aren't think you that, meant to be going? To, a gap year? Are you meant to be going to Singapore? Artorius <laughs> doing a gap year. He's a good horse, Artorius. <laughs> don't worry about that. Oh, got, you've pre- yeah. pushed the button. He's got a. Uh, he's, oh, don't he's worry. Different. He's got a similar pro- profile to Enema. Oh, well, that's. It's a long boat. Well, drive. have a look it's at his like golden slipper run. His golden slipper run was outstanding, uh, and then they run him in the they run him in the Caulfield Guineas, and he was sixteen hundred meters back to twelve hundred meters in that Coolmore Stud Stakes, and he had absolutely no luck, and he charged into second or third um, behind Home Affairs. So this is they probably just worked out that he's a sprinter now, and yeah, he, he'll, he'll run a race. Don't worry about that. Plenty of excuses. So they're not. They're, they're, they're bringing, they're bringing the stripe home. They're bringing <laughs> the stripe home. Not going to keep it over there for the jubilee. Uh, and Pat, you've got you've, you 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 were answering some of this before the podcast. So Blake, yeah, mate, I've got a theory on this that Waller's got both of these horses, and Home Affairs is the Coolmore Home Affairs and- is the Coolmore horse, and if it wins that Northern Hemisphere Sprint, then it could be worth more money than you could even ever imagine. It could be worth I don't know. $150 million. So I'm guessing that Coolmore have probably said something like, well, we're happy to spot the plane troops. Happy to, uh, you know, give you everything you yeah. like. But at the end of the day, we need Nature Strip not to be running the, in the... Uh, the stripes got to go. Yeah, because it looked like, even after the race, it, it looked like it would go around again a couple of times in the week. Could do a far lap and go three or touch- four times. Didn't touch it either, J-Mac. So, which is pretty cool. So J-Mac... He's won that race before, I think, J Mac, or he's won over there before. Think, I wouldn't think that he's won that race before, but he's probably yeah. rode a winner over there before. 
Yeah, we wrote another one last night, but he was he, he's he's unbelievable. Can I can I get into a bit of my favourite part of the online of the live stream the other day it was uh, Blake just constantly agreeing with you. I mean, disagree. Oh, yeah, disagreeing that's right. That's right. But I wouldn't think that's the case. No, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> well, I am 99% sure that it's not true, so I don't want to say it. You are 99% sure that everything I'm saying is not true. <laughs> Until you get proven wrong, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. I, don't, uh, I wouldn't think I mean, that that's this is not very often. I don't know that he's... What, me being right or you admitting <laughs> yeah. that you were wrong? Me being right. <laughs> I think he was... I think when uh, he was so unimpressed, he bought Davo's shovel because you uh, you seem to be sharing some niceties with him on the, the Twitter DMs that he's a bit jealous. Hang on, I bought... Da- yeah. <laughs> oh, Davo. That, that was... I'm just about to bring him in. We're back. We're mates again. I said, I... Don't worry about that. Were we not mates? Well, I just assumed that was... What do you just do to me? Oh, just I do a bit to banter. I, do sometimes. It is banter. I just keep. I just it's banter. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's it's. I I am not. Uh, what's the word? It doesn't bother well, me. Well, I just have it in my uh, brain that <laughs> I have to disagree with you. It doesn't matter what you say because ninety nine percent of the things that come out of your mouth are incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> so even before I think, I just have uh, to disagree because not. It's just a numbers game. It's just a numbers game. <laughs> Usually you're going to be right. Very funny, very funny. Let's get into You Cannot Be Serious. You cannot be serious. That ball is on the line. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Have we already done You, you Cannot Be no, Serious? But you cannot be serious. There are a lot of pundits out there. There are a lot of so-called experts. There are even friends of mine. There are friends of yours. There are people on the show that you know. People that... Names I won't mention, especially I won't mention one of their names. Call him out. He's a bit of an expert, and we don't want you to know that he's actually not an expert because um, Luke Hilton, he was <laughs> tipping against Nature Strip. Who are these people that oh. thought Nature Strip was soft in the market? Golden Pal, an American horse, was uh, was meant to be the next, the second coming, the best sprinter in the world. How? Tell me how, punters. We've got the reigning Everest champ. We've got the reigning Australian Sprinter of the Year. We've got the reigning World Sprinter of the Year running at Ascot, and somehow we think that it's going to get beat. It blows in price. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Chris Waller is no dummy. You cannot be serious. Those people that were saying do not back Nature Strip or back Golden Pal or back anything else in the race. I cannot believe it. You tell them, Paddy. Uh, Very good. Very good. Do you want to give them a, a little shovel on the way out? Can I give the shovel can go straight to the commentator who was obviously having a bit of fun calling it Nature Stripe and saying it was being ridden by Ronald McDonald. Um, I think he was waiting. Yeah, yeah, what a genius. He was waiting for it to get beat. So, He's an idiot. So he could say, Nature's, we don't even know its name, Nature Stripe, Nature Strip, whatever. Ronald McDonald, James McDonald. They're all it, it, same it family. It was disrespectful. It was bullshit. So we'll give a shovel to him. And we'll give a. Uh, and you're giving Hildo one as well? Yeah, get Hildo. Oh! <laughs> they got him. <laughs> they got him. Um, yeah, good, good. You cannot be serious. But yeah, it was. Uh, I, I, um, I ended up. I got 310 about Nature Strip, and I thought that was just brilliant. Yeah. And I think it ended up. That Golden Power came into favourite. Yeah, oh, and it was being truckloaded. And it came last. Yeah. yeah. So, what uh, did Nature Strip actually start? Three twenty-five. Three thirty. Yeah, three thirty. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. That was what is that? that was nice. I was happy at three ten. I got that as a boosted price from two. Something like heavy from... wears the crown or something like that. Golden Pal being anointed with the crown before the race had even been run. Yeah, but all I can say, good luck coming to the fours. Socceroos qualified for the World Cup. Nature Strip won the other night. Home affairs or salute tomorrow. When is it? Is that tomorrow night or tonight? It's Saturday, isn't it? Saturday. Saturday. And just get on Cam Smith in the golf. Oh, okay, I've got one. John Rahm, top 10. Just Not John Rahm, sorry. Tony Finau, top 10. That's the bet I took this morning at $3.90. Mate, he's, he's my, not Aussie. I'm saying it comes in fours for the Aussies. Uh, yeah, look, it, that'd be nice, but uh, yeah, I don't think. Mate, it will. Aussie, 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 Aussie. Oi, 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 oi. I hope so. <laughs> He's number six in the world now, isn't Smith. Smith. 
Yeah, he yeah is. but it's number one in our hearts. Oh, you can't back him. You can't back him. I heard him. that he's shortened his driver, would it? Yeah, he has. He's had a driver change up, but he's tw- twenty to one means he's he's actually probably about thirty to one in the the non Australian markets. And he's uh, we can go and do this all day. That's over. I think that's over. This is a good bet. But yeah, ha- have something on Cam because you're right. It could be just an Aussie fest, which is this could be the Aussies. Which is cool. It could be the Aussies month, June. Um, let's get into the feature races. I've got something in for this. <clears throat> Avid listeners, Shut. avid listeners would know. <laughs> avid listeners would know that's usually our hundred dollar strategy music, which means that we've got a new hundred dollar strategy uh, intro. Dude, that's gonna cool. like it. Can I just like say it. there have been shots fired from who? Shots fired from BJ. I'm, uh, I'm seeing a Why? screenshot of a quote of uh, "Watch your mouth, Blake Johnson, you grub." Where does it say that? Oh, it's just been put in a private group with uh, oh, some fellow other pundits. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, is it? Oh, my goodness. No, that's Blake not Johnson. true. I can't see it. It's, oh, I'm not included in that group. No, you are. You just hit it. Uh, you are time. in that group. It's uh, just uh, you hit it a lot. He's done an angry long. face on it too. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Explain it to everyone, Paddy. Uh, I just – Blake has <laughs> done a post saying, poor right out of the Steve, and it's written by um, – by Hilda's missus, who we love. No, that's, a, that's okay. Who we everybody, love. Everybody puts in a bad one sometimes, and I might think it's a bad one, and Hilda might disagree. Um, but even J Mac puts in a bad I'd one. I'd say so Hilda strongly. It can happen. I strongly disagree. I would say he's called you a pew, grub. Pew, pew, pew. That's okay. Yeah, he's after you. It's, um, I just think that uh, the horse should have held the fence, and he probably goes very close to winning. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Good with Hilda. I agree with you. <laughs> no, with Hilda. I mean, no, yeah, with Blake. It's just easier if I agree with Blake, but he'll dis- disagree with it. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Uh, we're waiting for that, but you know, that's just that's just how it is. That's just how it is. So we have got three great races to get through. So this is a bucket list race day, the Ipswich Cup day. Have you have you had any? Experience, gentlemen, or any? Um, have you heard much about Ipswich Cup Day? Because I've heard lots about it. I know. Well, for one thing, I'll be calling it the Ippy Cup because that's what the locals call it. Y- yeah, you call it the Ippy Cup, obviously. But no, mate, I haven't heard a lot about it other than when you told me the other night that it's a big booze fest. Oh, absolutely! They absolutely love it. They're uh, they're um, what's the word? They they get right into it up there at Ipswich. They've got a couple of, uh, I think they've got three listed races up there, including the Ipswich Cup. They do great. Uh, marquees, the marquees are right on the fence. No no backup in the members or anything like that for Ipswich Cup Day. And it is a huge day on the drink. I think they have another day there, like on the Monday or something like that, that apparently just gets gets just double booked. Everyone goes there as well. Uh, so, yeah, big. Big, big effort on the piss. So, obviously, BJ, you'd love it. Oh, can't wait. Bring it on, Ed Switch. <laughs> you, you, you'd love Glass it. Um, eyeliner, Stakes Day, Gay should... Woodhouse Classic. Oh, it's going to be a big one. Yep, Eyeliner. Do you want to should – we, should we go in order of the races, seven, eight, nine? Because I want to do – we're going to do the Ipswich Cup, we're going to do the Eyeliner Stakes, and we're going to do the Gay Waterhouse Classic. You happy to do it in that order? I'm happy. Yeah, done. Okay, well, let's start with the Ipswich Cup. 2,150 metres is race seven at Ipswich. Uh, it's uh, Bartholomew Diaz. It's our current favourite with Boombet having the best price at $4.65. Um, our intrigue, Chris Waller's runner at $5. Bird de Beck uh, at $8. Street Dancer at $9.10. Um, where are we? Swords drawn ten dollars, along with Ballistic Boy, Young Blood into twelve dollars. Smart Media, Tavion Prince, Spencer Ostermere, Chakana. It's a, it's a lot of horses I've never even heard of in this race. Um, let's uh, let's start with you, Paddy. Who are you liking? Oh, Who are you mate, liking? Oh, I'm liking Bartholomew Diaz. Jade and Lloyd gave this horse an absolute peach of a ride last start. Beautiful win last start. 
I think, like you said, you don't know a lot of the horses in this race because it's quite a weak field. And uh, after its last start, we're not happy to stick with the stayer in form. I know it steps up in distance, but it's hard fit. It's been up a long time, so why not stay with uh, with a horse that it really brained and came from last on the turn and went up in between and went through them. Jaden Lloyd gave it an absolute pearl of a ride. And, yeah, it's, um, there's no reason to go off it. There's nothing else in the race that sort of stands out and makes you want to steer away from the fave there. Uh, BJ, who you like him? We're going to whiz through these. Yeah, that's okay. Because we've got a big show. I'm pretty keen on uh, our intrigue. I think she's she's the hardest to beat for mine. She, I think this is grand final day. Grand final day. Chris Wall is a grand final trainer. Uh, 2,000 metres, two back. Uh, she was no match for big boy Roy late, but then she went back to 1,600 metres. Uh, she let him up and she was just that those those milers are just a little bit too sharp for her but she gets back up to 2,000 meters for the second time in the preparation I reckon she takes control of the race uh, and uh, yeah I just think she's going to be hard to beat very nice how intrigued very nice how intrigued are you having a bet in this race who yes you personally but she's yeah that's what you usually say oh, yeah I'm, I'm having a oh, yeah, race. I'll have a little. I can't let. I can't let it go around now that I've tipped her without my money on. Can't let. Can't let Ipswich Cup just float on by without having a little. A little play. Uh, I'm gonna have a little play at Youngblood. A lot of you know that this horse has been a. Uh, it's been good and bad to me. Could come through at the odds. So I'll just have a little bet here because I. Uh, I haven't really had time to go through all this, but that would be my bet. Here on in. So let's roll straight into the Ips, city of Ipswich Eye Line of Stakes. Race eight, 1,350 metres. Uh, it's going to be nice and warm up there. I forgot, I usually like giving a, um, a weather report up that way. It's going to be about 22 degrees. We're going to be running on possibly, they are saying a soft five, so they must be expecting a bit of rain out there. So a little bit of, a little bit of give in the ground. Vinco is our favourite in this race, only just. Uh, ben Thompson on for Tony Gollan at $6. Hollyfield at $6.10 10 with Boom Bear. Paladis, uh, $7. Emerald Kingdom, 9 Paddy, one of yours. Roman Aureus at $10. Charlize at 11 Dessert Lord, $15. Gosboat, and she's the gist. Last chance, maybe the best. My horse, Sir Warwick, just keeps blowing out. $41. Uh, <clears throat> gents, what's the, uh, what are we liking here in the eyeline of stakes? I'm liking Holyfield. Thought you might. I had a feeling there. I think it just has to overcome the wide barrier to absolutely hammer this field. I don't think this is a strong field at all either. And I think Holyfield has the class edge here. Meets them all on very similar weights and obviously meets Emerald Kingdom again better at the weights than it did in the Archer. Same as the BTC sprint where it beat it quite convincingly. So... Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm happy to stay with or be with Holyfield here because it's got form around some very nice horses and I think it can really knock or give this race a shake. BJ, you like it, Holyfield? No. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that he can't win, but he's he's one of the better chances in the race. But I'm going to be having a bet on Charlize. I think she's ready to improve second up. She was okay first up down the straight at Flemington. Uh, last time she was in Queensland, she won the Spear Chief Classic where, when covering extra ground without cover, and then she won, she won second in the Glass House. So her Queensland form is very good. I think stepping up in trip is a positive. She draws six. Steph Thornton can just find a spot midfield. Uh, her form from last preparation, she had absolutely no luck in a few stakes races in Sydney, like uh, in the Tibby, the Angst. Uh, she had a chance in, in Melbourne after that. But uh, I just think she's a, a class mare and I think she'll be peaking on the day for Kieran Maher and David Eustace. So Charlize for mine. Woodhead? Charlize. Hey, Woodhead, can I get a new segment? I had a very good run in the glass house. I remember that. Sorry, Patty. Can I get a new segment? What do you want? One for the sickos. Yeah. One for the sickos. Just... So. um. Do a do a drum roll. I love it. Yeah, one the one for the sicko. Do, do it a vomit. I, yeah, I just want everyone to be careful. <laughs> You'll have some friends walking around on the weekend. You'll find one of them, and they'll so tip you. They'll tip Let you. Let me. What 
What race? Th- let me this find, race. Let me guess. Is it Pallidus? Yeah, there will be a sicko out there that will tip you Pallidus on the weekend, and you won't be sure if he's a friend or foe. I've tipped Pallidus before. That's, yeah, uh, it's 22 starts, three, <laughs> three wins, and finishes every weekend in the unlucky fall. Pallidus. Yeah. I'm just going to well, Pallidus. Can, can, can find a place. You want only one uh, four starts ago, Paddy, at $1.24. Yeah. So the punters might have got their money back. The uh, the start before one twenty four of the sun the, the start oh, before that's I the day was... beat bold Pedro <laughs> oh bold Pedro the start, Pedro. Pedro the start before it it it, it was like a dollar fifty and got um, chopped out or something like that and it's always unlucky it's like the sickos that walk around tip Creadiris and Kementari and. All the rest of them. There's a few out there. Brooklyn Hustle. Brooklyn there was a few. I, I actually I left it out when we were doing the live streams. A few people calling for the Brooklyn Hustle bet. Oh yuck! Last week, so I instantly banned them. <laughs> um, Always well banned. One for the sickos. We might have to. We might have to just get a little vomit sound because we've got the we'll sounds now. We'll the sounds. The sounds have been met with uh, outstanding feedback. Everyone likes yeah. the little it- soundboard. That was the best. If seven hundred bucks we ever spent, I think if one of the sickos get up, I'll let you slap this pout off my face. <laughs> you already owe us. Uh, you already owe us a, a cowboy hat night out. Yeah, you haven't delivered on. Yeah, a cowboy hat night out. <laughs> <laughs> Give us one, Patty. Um, okay, so we've gone Hollyfield, BJ. You like Charlie's? Uh, I haven't. Even to this race. Sorry. Do you know Yours is Sir Warwick, brother. i got to stick with Sir Warwick. Got 40 to, to 1. got to stay uh, on board. It's due, it's due for a win. It's, it's been running around <laughs> pretty yeah. good company. Luke Cable had a blind the other night too, so uh, maybe to stay with his brother. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he would have had a, uh, a night out. Jeez, we didn't even talk about Origin. We should talk about it. Let's get into race nine. Uh, to finish off this Ipswich card, it's the Gay... Waterhouse Classic, classic, another listed race, over 1,200 metres. This is very, very exciting. Phillies and mares. Uh, Juan Diva is our favourite at $5.50. Tahitian Dance, a Tony Golan runner at $5.50, uh, joint favourite. Lady of Luxury, Bjorn Baker, so obviously a moral thanks to Hildo, $9. <laughs> Majestic Shot, 10s with maybe the best. Tycoon Evie, that's a good, that's a good um, horse. Eleven twenty with Boom Bet. And the list goes on. Kissy Kano's down there at $26. Glitter Strip for Tony Gollins, one of the emergencies. That's a good horse. Uh, BJ, let's start with you, mate. Yep, no problem. Sorry. Minus one. Uh, basically, a, an impossible race, but I'm going to gamble on one of the David Van Dyke uh, runners who is yet to have a jockey. Just got into the field. Joy to all. Uh, she's very good. Uh, she comes into barrier 19, which hasn't seemingly been a problem uh, f- from winning from these sort of gates in this winter carnival. So uh, happy to gamble. I think she is a very good mare. She's had a problems. First up, she won on the, the poly track. I know that that's not sort of any type of form, but it was an absolute track gallop, and she was too good previously to that. She just looked like a stakes class uh, mayor of the future, and I think that um, this will be grand final day, so they'll probably give her a dig out of the gates and see she, where she lands, and hopefully she's within five or six lengths of the uh, leading pack in a winning position pack. Dick Van Dyke, what all. a trainer. What a trainer. Joy to all. Currently uh, $13 with a sports bet I've got. <clears throat> Look at that SP profile. Plus. She hasn't started... Any longer than two dollars and fifteen in the last five. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, wow. Three weeks. Oh, geez, it's a it's a nice profile. It's almost a picket fest there. Um, Paddy, who you like? Cohesion dancer, mate. Comes out of the good form in the Najmati race and Written Beauty race before that. It's been thereabouts. Hasn't gotten great runs in both races, but has been coming on at the very end and it's been in a couple of you know, sort of big finishes where it looked like it was going to stick its head out. But, yeah, it's due. So, so, so due this preparation that it's not funny. And uh, I think it makes it feel that it can probably tear apart with no Naj Marty, no written beauty here. So I've got it on top. It's my bet this week. I'm with you. 
Look at that boy. Would have loved, oh, would have loved Blakey to speak to him. Would love to get Tony Gollum. Oh, he's, been, he's been tough to get on the line recently. <laughs> he's I've been hard to get a hold of. He has. Uh, okay, so that's where we're going. We've done the Ipswich Cup. We've done the Island listed races. Uh, Gateway House Classic. BJ, have you got something for the Blake book for us today? I do, actually. Blake book. Give it to us. Yep, so wherever this uh, filly goes, <laughs> last Thursday while we were on the show, she absolutely annihilated her rival. Pocare, Kare, she went back to last. Nash was an absolute oh, trap yeah. gallop. He, he didn't flinch a muscle. She still produced the fourth best last 200 metres of the day, and she was absolutely eased down on the line. Wherever she goes, the price will be too long. Uh, she can go to Saturday, Saturday and win a race. Straight? Just... Pocare, can just Kare. take that next step straight away. Yeah, we watched it. We watched it. Um, you and I watched it, didn't we? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we did. <clears throat> oh, did Why we? do I feel like we were sitting next no, to each I other? No, I think because Blake it. mentioned its name so many times over the weekend that I actually thought it was a song. Yeah, it's coming up my um, Facebook feed. Well, yeah. yeah, so I'm getting ads on Instagram for it. It looked like the second um, coming of Fall Up. That was right. That's right. Oh, my we had, goodness. We, it, it, we had a selection in that race for members only and um yeah it just turns out we we lobbed into one was that at scone no it was at gosford gosford was it gosford yeah, she's pretty just good lobbed into she's one pretty good. it was it was arrogant very match. good oh, she didn't beat much but she's pretty good did it with a cigarette um, in his mouth oh <laughs> it was too easy for him <laughs> Too easy for it. So we got him back to our $100 strategy. We missed out, missed out last week. We didn't do a lot of the segments because we were going through the big punk, cl- punk club day special. <laughs> I've got a new intro for the strategy. I want you guys to tell me what you think of it. What I do is win, 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 no matter what. Your money on my mind. I can't never get enough. <laughs> to the end. Everybody's hands go up. And they say and they say that. And they say that. Oh, bunch of bloody excited uh, boys there. That was good. That was good. I, hearing that, my, wonder that my voice was still going at that stage. But yeah, that was uh, that was ultra impressive. Um, that was off the back of she's a belter, and I'll put the footage up because, it, like, it's funny because we're in a room with each other, and it really does feel like we are with each other, and knowing that the punters are just there. But you can see the emotion written all over our face when She's a Belter got up. It was Pat's best of the day. It was the punter's best of the day. Uh, we had $5,000 on it. Uh, it was epic. It was so good. So, so good. So I feel like that somehow needs to be immortalised into our our show every I week. like it. So I like it. I'll cut that up. I'll cut that up a little bit. So uh, who wants to kick us off with our $100 strategy? Well, first, before we get started, though, I feel like my seventh asterisk should be attached to my $100 strategy. <laughs> okay, because your $100 last week would have gone, uh, she's a belter and alligator. Yeah. No, no, no <laughs> asterisk. No the asterisk. seventh asterisk. That, that's unlucky. That was that's, a... That's uh, just we forgot to mention an alligator bite. That was a thirty-three thousand dollars return for the punk club. That bet, yeah, so that bit of fun. yeah. Twelve to one we got. Um, okay, BJ, hit us with it. Okay, so we go on Saturday. We are going mm-hmm. to Rose Hill. I probably should have had this read before I jumped. Do you want me to go you first? Sure? Then? No, I'll go, let, I'll let go first. Go I'll first. go first. I've got this. Okay, don't uh, calm so, down. Stop yelling at us. We're trying to help out. You say say that he. Should go first. Pay, uh, BJ, you should no, go let first. Pat, let, let Pat go first. Okay, I'll go first. This is my favourite gear. Well this well. is my favourite gear. All right, guys. I'm going to have a $30 place all up. Ippy Race 7, number three. Place all up. For 30 bucks, yep. That is so sucky. Ooh. Race 8, number Ooh, three. Oh, place oh, all up. Race 9, this. number five. And then also... Oh, oh no! <laughs> the soft alarm. <laughs> place multi. Place you can't all say those can't words on that. that. I mean, what? What are you doing? Are you serious? Thirty dollars place all, and then seventy dollars. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
scuffle. It's a blow stitcher. <laughs> Send it back to me. I'll do mine. I'll do. You think about it. Okay, PJ, give us your hundred you think dollars. Think about it. No, I got my last bet to put on. No, give it. Oh, you do. What was the first bet? That place all up. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that on here, buddy. Do the place all up again. Uh, Tell us exactly what it is, because I've looked right down. The place all up is... (laughs) (laughs) Race 7, number 3, Ipswich. Race 8, number 3, Ipswich. And race 9, number 5, Ipswich. And then my second bet... uh, What are we... You're putting 30 on at? 30 on at... um, Best of best. (laughs) Best of the best. <laughs> best of the best. Hang on. So go through it. I'll tell you exactly. Number Race 7, number race three, seven, switch. Number yep. 3. Race 8, number 3. Yep. And race 9, oh. number 5. Oh, best. Uh, that'll be a fat collect. $8. What is it? $8.95. Sweet. That's perfect. Easy it. 30 on that. Eight dollars nine thirty on that. Okay, yes. Yep. Two seventy there. And then wow. seventy bucks to win. Race nine, number five, Tahitian Dancer. Oh, where's the bloke from last week? It was just gonna be nice if you um gave us the heads up on the, the You probably place would have all a place up. all up on those horses last week anyway, Pat. So that's yeah, the she's oh, to place. <laughs> she's to alligator blood place. Uh. Here comes a blood now. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the oh, blood. Get, get in there. Get a place. Oh, he's won. Oh, he's won. I should have had that as the bet. Um, okay, so your place all up, and then your last $70 is going on to... Tahitian Dancer. Tahitian Dancer. I think we had that at $5.50 just then. I had that up at Yeah, that'd be about right. I like that horse, Paddy. I like I like that bet, Tahitian Dancer. $5.50. The place multi one. Best. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> Not allowed to say that. You know that. Um... Okay, so seventy a t- he's an answer at five dollars fifty. Is that what price you're going to give him, BJ? Yeah, five fifty. Jeez, this was six dollars ninety fifty. No, it wasn't. It was never six bucks. Um, all right, BJ, hit us with your hundred dollars strap. Okay, bro. so I'm going to Rose Hill. I'm going to go Rose Hill race six, number eleven, glittery. Uh, I'm going to have forty dollars to win on her. Seven fifty the best price. Sports bet. Uh, she was really good first up. Um, winning uh, the third horse, Pokare Kare, has gone to Gosford and won like Farlap, as I've said in the past. Uh, but she's been given a freshen up. She's been back to the trials, trod super, uh, Bowman stick. She's going to be hard to hold out. There's a really even race, but I think she's the hardest to beat for mine. Uh, and it's a, a meeting that it's really difficult to single one out is a good thing. Uh, and then we're going to go to race seven. I think this is the best value bet of the day. Uh, we're going to go race seven, number nine, Welsh Legend. I'm going to have $40 a win on her. $12, best price available. That's with TAB. Uh, she was good. Two back uh, in Melbourne, uh, overcome issues to win. Then last start, she was held up, I think, between the six and the four. She just needed room sooner. That was the first go over 2,000 metres this prep. I think she's at a peak now last time over this track and trip. She ran second, grabbed in the last couple of strides by Huetor. He's a subsequent Group 1 winner. So uh, drops down to 53 kilos, and, yeah, I think she's going to be hard to beat. She she maps well from the draw. She'll just uh, park up behind the speed and hopefully get a break on him and prove too good in the run home. And then I'm going to have $20 on race 9. Number 11 has to be good. I'm going to be taking best of the best here. I don't think the market will really find her, but I think she's a setup. Um, she was really good first up on a soft five surface at Canterbury. Had absolutely no luck. Then she's been average. Her wheels have been spinning in her last three or four runs on heavy surfaces. She's been given five or I think she's been given 49 days between runs, something along those lines. Uh, this is her trip. She gets back onto a dry. Blinkers go on again. I think she gets her chance to produce her best. Clipperton in the saddle, who's riding really well. So uh, happy to gamble on her. $17, currently the best price available, but I think that'll be there on Saturday. What was the uh, – can you just – I think I missed just the race number in the horse on that one. Race nine, number 11, has to be good. Thank you, sir. It has race to be good nine, with number a, 11. I like that. the uh, 
Yeah, you'd want it to be. Uh, I like... Um, <clears throat> Oh, Lady of Luxury is named in this race as well. I like that bet. I like Welsh Legend. You do? I like Tahitian Dancing. Good. Well done. Well done, gentlemen. Should have placed Miles. Well done. Um, BJ, have you had a bit of a uh, a look at some of the, the shorties today? Do you want to do a bit of a an overs or unders? No, no overs and unders today. Uh, sorry, I should have put that in the rundown. But um, there's no there's no real sorry. shorties um, going around in Sydney, only the first race. Uh, it's a two-year-old race, but... Don't really have an opinion on that race. So uh, let's give it a miss this week and we'll be back next week. Can I give you a little stat for what Home Affairs is going to stand for at the first uh, first season at Stud? This is prior to the weekend. Prior to the weekend, 110000 a fee a go. That's nice. He'll, uh, that's a blow. He'll serve. That's not, There's no oral there. He'll, uh, he'll serve 100, 100 mares a year. That'd be nice. <laughs> Enormous. If it wins this thing, Owen, you know, well, yeah, this pro- that goes through the roof. Does that stud fee change or just the value? Oh, of it won't change the first probably. season, but the second season it could probably change. Probably go higher, pending its hit rate, and then it uh, does change his first season. We can't. They'd already be booked in. Well, those that are yeah. not could be. Pending, well, he's not retired yet. It could get up to. Um, yeah, it's already booked into stud for the. This coming season. This coming season. How do you do that? How do, how do I book that in? How do you book it in? When I when I when I retire, you need one hundred and ten fat, and then you need. <laughs> I, need I just need one hundred and ten. Hit, the, hit that alligator blood thing out again. <laughs> what this one? Here comes the blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. are you ready yet? Mm-hmm. Here comes the blood. <laughs> <laughs> You have to. I have to relax because it won't be, uh, it won't be great. Uh, home affairs is dead. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Well, it was. Uh, oh, you, am I servicing home? Affairs? Yeah. Here comes oh. the blood. If, I, if, if it's one hundred and ten, I've got to be more than that. Oh, home affairs. Uh, what do you want to do on your day off, Woodhead? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Have a break. I just walk in. I just walk into the stable. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> don't worry, guys. This, we'll give we'll give the soundboard a bit of a mix up next week. You're probably getting sick of all these. The live the live was an in, incredibly successful, uh, incredibly successful day. Uh, so glad we found some winners. Um, and that look so basically off a twenty dollar share, you got. Five bucks back. So I was doing this. Uh, uh, hang on, hang so on. if you had a hundred, hey, yeah, you got fourteen dollars fifty back. You lost five yeah. bucks a share. You got fifteen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you, you you lost five dollars a share. You got five bucks back. We didn't go that bad. We would have heard from more people if we did. So you lost about five bucks a share. But majority of people took a hundred dollar units, a hundred dollar shares. So that's five units. Hang on. See what which I mean by just disagreeing. Would be blindly seventy four. Dollars, you got seven. Now you said, "Hang on, then you didn't rip. You didn't just put a pen through me. I just said the wrong thing. Just tired, Blake. You got about seven. Just lay in bed all day, relaxing, just looking at a few races. Sorry, mate. Fuck you. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) Kayla, can you shut that kid up? I'm doing four. Shovel that kid. Needs rest. It needs rest. (laughs) Sunny, mate. I've been in the. I've been in the warehouse this week. Look at that. The calluses. What's that? I think it's a, it's a blister. Will that need a stitch? Probably. <laughs> um, do you do it in white glass? So okay, if you had a hundred dollars, you got seventy. Do we do we figure this out? Was it seventy four or seventy one back? Seventy one back. That's so. Seventy one back. I got, and most people got a twenty dollar bonus bet. Yeah, so they got their money back. So you bet you bet all day. Yeah, you find some winners. You have a bit of fun. We gave away some prizes. We haven't, none of the prize winners have reached out to us. I guess we've got to reach out to them. Um, hey, you've got to get $20 because the prize is $520. But the other thing is merch. Merch sales have been absolutely flying. The boys must have looked fresh on Saturday. We have merch sold going real well. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of people wanting to, to get involved with the gear. Yeah, that's good. Merch gear. I love it. I love it. Um, but that's it. That's it, gentlemen. Uh, what a show. Thank you. Was that a goodie? 
It was nice. It was good. It was just relax. Um, anything you guys have to add or not? You're all right. No, nah, we're good. I'm good to go. God, we we need to have a rest. Um, we got Tats Tiara next week, Group One, and then well, we the might weeks just off. do a bit of a. Uh, yeah, we might do a week. We might do a, a couple of weeks off. We'll get some other boys to pick up. Maybe the Walk and DJC or Dildo and Zamet. Get a few. Get a bit of a rotation going. Give everyone a freshen up. What do you reckon? Maybe Hildo will jump in. I've, he's, he must be calling me to jump in because I've got four missed calls from him already. <laughs> he hasn't don't, called me. Don't say that. <laughs> he won't be calling <laughs> you anything. He, actually, he might be trying to call you, PG. He's calling me to call you something. Right. Uh, um, but that's it. Guys, one last time, I want to thank everybody that got involved with Punk Club. Everyone was so... Uh, what's the word? BJ, move your phone while we're thanking everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to say thanks to everybody. Uh, we, it was actually a super positive experience. If we went, if we, if we didn't fire a shot all day, it might have been very different. But we had a super positive day. We had a thousand punters. I reckon we had two or three dickheads from the whole thing, which is a great. Great percentage if you think about it overall. So I want to thank you so much for being supportive. I want to thank you two gentlemen for coming in and having your A game, taking this as serious as I needed all of us to take it. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing something similar to this, whether it be with Punk Club, whether it be with us, whatever whatever we decide going forward. Me too. Uh, but that's it. All right. Uru punters. Uru. Cheers, fellas.